Hey guys, welcome back. So I thought it'd be fun if I shared with you guys my new updated skincare routine for 2020. The last time that I uploaded a skincare video was two years ago and a lot has changed since then. I have tried many products since then and figured out kind of what works for my skin and what doesn't. And I've learned a lot of tips and tricks along the way that I thought that you guys would be interested in knowing. So without further ado, let's get into my new updated skincare routine. Step one the hair back so since i have a full face of makeup on right now the first step in my routine is to go in with an oil cleanser using an oil cleanser is really just gonna break down and melt away all the makeup that's on my skin right now the cleanser that i'm using is the pacifica coconut dissolve cleansing oil i just put a couple pumps on my hand and i just go in and really just rub it everywhere so let me tell you the tea that I have learned about cleansing oils. Let me hit you with some knowledge, okay? So I just found out about this like two weeks ago. This is a new step to my routine, but I find that it's very essential. Cleansing oils and cleansing balms are very essential in your skincare routine when you wear makeup. So like whenever you wear makeup, it's super important to do what they call a double cleanse. And that's when you go in with like a cleansing balm, like cleaning take the day off balm or a cleansing oil. And then after that, then that's when you go in with your face wash and you like really do all the details. You do all the detail work, you know? I used to think that just using a makeup wipe got the job done, false. You need to double cleanse in order to make it easier to just like break down all that product. So I'm going to rinse my face now and then we will continue with step two. Now that that's done, I move on to the eyes. If I'm ever wearing eyeshadow or mascara, I always go in with my oil-free eye makeup remover. This stuff is amazing. I just take some of that on a cotton round and I just press it on my eyes. Leave it there for a couple seconds. And voila. <laughs> and if I ever feel like there's a little bit of residue left over, I will gently swipe the pad across my face, but you never, you always hear this, so I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but you never want to tug on your eyes, okay? I'm like pretty big on that because the eyes are the windows to the soul. So like, <laughs> you know? So next step is one of my favorites and it is the cleansing step of my routine. And for my face wash, I use the Botanics All Bright with Hibiscus Cleansing Wash. This has been my holy grail for like a year now. I haven't switched it up because it's so gentle on my skin. It smells amazing and it just leaves me feeling very refreshed and it leaves my skin super soft. So I love going in with this. And the way that I use this is I put it on my Duval spin brush. I just put a little bit of cleanser on my brush, turn it on, and let it do its magic. And once I feel satisfied with my results, I just stop the brush and I always like to look at it because there's always leftover makeup residue. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit stained with my foundation still. So that's incredible how it really just gets in there when you think that your skin is already clean. So I love my spin brush. I love the tempo that it's at. I love how soft the bristles are. I love what it does for my skin. So um, if you guys are interested, I actually do have a promo code with them. You can use the code Alyssa Ray at checkout for 70% off. I'll also put the link in the description so that if you guys are interested, you can check it out. The set that I have actually comes with four detachable heads, one for your body, one for exfoliating, one for a pumice stone, and then one for your nails, I believe. Once I'm done using the brush, I just go back and rinse my face in the sink, and then it's time to continue on with my skincare routine. Next, I like to go in with the Pixi Glow Tonic Toner. I just pour a little bit of this onto a cotton round and then I glide it over my face to reveal smooth, bright, glowy skin. If you don't use a toner, I definitely recommend using one because toners 
have honestly shown me how much product is left on your skin after you wash it. There's still so much makeup in the pores. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit brown. Um, so I think that's like foundation or I don't even know what but that was still on my skin. I'd say that my number one problem area on my face definitely has to be my pores. Fun fact, pores are genetic. Thanks, mom. Thank you. Really, no, seriously, thank you. Although there's nothing that you can permanently do to shrink the size of your pores, there are products that can help minimize the appearance of large pores, which I love. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm here for it. I love pore filling primers. I love pore serums, which brings me to this serum right here. This is the Revolution Skincare Blemish and Pore Refining Serum. This stuff is amazing. It just does wonders for my pores. They don't look so hideous anymore. They don't look so disgusting, like just like gaping holes on my face, you know? Um, so with this product, I like to just scoop it up and just do a little Instagram beauty guru moment right here on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. The pores on my chin, on my chinny chin chin, can get a little out of hand sometimes. And I like to just like massage it into my face, you know? Just letting my skin know, hey, it's okay. You have big pores. I really like to just like press it into my skin too, to just make sure that it's really sinking in there. If you also struggle with large pores, I definitely recommend using um, a clay mask or pore strips. Pore strips are everything. They really just take out like the nasty blackheads and whiteheads and it's just, it's gross, but it's amazing. It does wonders. And last week, I believe my pores were so bad. They were disgusting. And I used a clay mask. I used the Muddy Body clay mask. It really just like shrunk my pores and it made them look not so disgusting. So if you struggle with your pores, um, definitely check that out. Moving on to moisturizer. I feel like I'm always switching up my moisturizers because there are so many out there that are good for quenching the thirst that your skin has. I have very dry to combination skin at times. So I really look for a hydrating moisturizing cream. And currently I am using the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer. But what brought me to it was the ingredients. It has like oat milk, fig milk, jojoba oil. It has so many great ingredients in there and it's vegan and it's cruelty free. And I really try to make my products be good for the environment and like good for animals and good for me, most importantly. So I've been trying this one out, but if any of you guys have a moisturizer that you love for dry skin, send it my way because I'm always testing new um, moisturizers. See, it just really gives you like that glow from within. Last but not least, I like to finish up with an eye cream. I adore eye creams because I really struggle with um, dark circles, dark under eyes, and I just always look tired and I don't know, I have this weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> me getting all personal. I have this weird thing where I have like bumps under my eyes. I don't, let me see if I can show you. So yeah, I really struggle with my under eyes as well. I'm using this artistry enriching eye cream. And if I'm being honest, I don't know if it's doing anything for me. So I'm not gonna recommend this to you, but I'm just saying, I always go in with an eye cream because I think that that is super important, especially for me. But if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions for under eye creams, send them my way because I definitely want to try a new one. Like I said, I've been using this one for like probably a month now and I have no idea if it's working. So like I, don't think it's working. And just like that, our skincare routine is finished and I feel so good. My skin feels so fresh and soft and supple. I do have other products that I use on my face um, when I'm not using these because I don't like to pile on product after product on my skin. I feel like it just irritates it. I feel like it doesn't do anything for it. So I just like to stick to a few products and you know let it do its, let it do its work. So this is the video. Thank you for watching. Once again, I want to remind you that I do have the code for Duval, the spin brush. Highly, highly, highly recommend. This is genuinely my skincare routine. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. And as always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.